What's up guys, Jermaine here. Holy smokes. And yeah, I'm borrowing that from uh, Jeremy from Financial Education. This market sold off today like crazy. I mean, crazy. It was like a bloodbath all day out there. Um, I mean, look I mean, look at some of these numbers here. The Dow dropped 6.90%. NASDAQ down 5.27%. S&P down 5.89%. And I mean, if you invested in, you know, individual companies, you know, uh, you was getting killed. Uh, Apple, for example, my largest holding is uh, four, down 4.80%. So, um, I mean, why is this? We were just shooting up like crazy and then now all of a sudden, massive sell off. And that's all basically because of, you know, this whole Rony Rona situation apparently ain't over yet like we kind of thought it was or some states thought it was and it seems like some states did actually reopen a lot sooner than they should have now um two of those states being uh florida and texas which um were among the first states to reopen and now reporting record numbers of hospitals hospitalizations a total of 21 states reported an increase in new cases last week so today's cello follows, you know, the Federal Reserve's grim update on the economy. Um, and, you know, Jerome Powell also had said that, you know, a second wave, if it do, if it do come, we can't afford to shut down the economy again. Um, if we do, we really risk um, substantially hurting our economy in a way that it may just be beyond repair this time. And you're talking about crippling industries that were hurt going into this and then shutting down again and then they have to relive it all over again. And, you know, I just think at some point, you know, the Fed just can't just keep printing money and pumping money into, you know, all these companies, into the economy. At some point, those numbers have to be answered for. Now, I do understand, you know, that it is something called, you know, the uh, velocity of money where, you know, over time, you know, when inflation money grows and then that debt becomes smaller. But um, this is far too much debt that's growing far too fast and it would have to be answered for, of course. Um, so today's market itself is basically, you know, um, a lot of investors are seeing what's going on in a lot of these other states like such as Florida, Arizona, Texas, and are, you know, kind of saying, well, hold up. We just, you know, companies hitting record highs. Amazon yesterday hit their record high um, above $2,600 a share. And now you have a situation where, you know, states like uh, Florida are saying, you know, we're running out of hospital space. Now the economies are open. People can go there. People can get potentially get infected, then go back to their states and affect other people. Like my state in New York, like we're at phase one, and now you have the you know the governors and the, the mayor uh, for New York City who's like trying to push to reopen to get to like you know phase three. But it may be something that needs to be rethink because if you got all these situations going on in other states, the only reason why in New York's um, our numbers are going down is because we're technically still locked down. Nobody's really going away, even though we're in phase one. Phase one, nothing's really still open. Everything's pretty much still the same. Um, so yeah, our numbers are going down, but the rest of the country and the world, perhaps, numbers are still going up. You know, this Rony Rona situation ain't over. You know, plus also taking account that, you know, all the uh, fund managers have been sitting out of this rally. This rally of um, the stock market has been fed by, you know, the millennials, the um, small um, investors, like guys like me and you that, you know, aren't moving, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars or billions of dollars through the markets. And it's just us, you know, especially like, you know, I did a video uh, a few days ago talking about Hertz. Like, why is Hertz stock going up? People making crazy money on stock, on that stock when... It's filed for bankruptcy, and that company's gonna go bankrupt. So now you got a situation their company, their stock price is shooting up, and that's because um, millennials, the um, small investors, are pumping money into that, inflating the stock price, seeing it go up, 
take profits, as you should. Smart thing to do. Um, not something that I play with. Um, I'm a long-term investor. So what, I, what I'm doing, you know, in this situation where I'm seeing, you know, a massive bloody red day like this in the market, I go shopping. <laughs> I go shopping, you know. I didn't buy anything today. Um, you know, I've been traveling, um, so I wasn't able to really, you know, sit down and really go through anything, see what I wanted. But, you know, I've been monitoring it all day and seeing that, you know, the market has been dropping all day. But good news is, is that um, the futures as of now look to be pointing in the green. So, you know, that's the nature of the game. You know, if you're in the market, you should welcome down days in the market, you know, because those down days, you buy and then you rise up. Like I've said before, dollar cost averaging. Don't just dump all your money into the market at one time. Do it over time, small increments, find companies that you like, that you believe in, buy those, hold them long term. You will win. It's a game. You know, it's, that's all it is. It's a game. Welcome these days where things go down because your favorite company probably just went on sale today. So I hope you took advantage of it. If you did, let me know in the comment section below what companies you bought, what companies you may be thinking about, or are you waiting for, you know, the quote unquote second crash? You know, the market's already basically done that V shape. So, you know, some people are saying that, you know, it's going to do a W. Is this the beginning of it? Who knows? If it is, I'll be buying, <laughs> you know, long term investor. That's what it is. That's the name of the game. You know, if it goes down, great. If it goes up, great, you know, but, you know, dollar cost average buy over time companies that you believe in um you know i personally stay away from those speculative stuff um, like that hurts thing and all those other bankrupt companies like jc penny i'm staying away from all of that but if you're making money more power to you um but yeah let me know in the comment section you know what you guys uh did you guys make any moves today or not um but like i said dollar cost average over the long term red days take advantage of them you know as always um uh, until next time Peace.